Over the past seven years, I've built and flown loads of different FPV mini quads. Some I've even designed myself. And the novelty of actually building a quad can seem like a bit of a chore. After all, you just want to get out flying. But sometimes something comes along that really surprises me. This Master 5 frame from Speedy Bee flies beautifully. In fact, it's my current favourite five inch quad. But more importantly, it's an absolute pleasure to build. The thought and effort that Speedy B have put into the design is so good, it's just great fun screwing this together. It comes in two flavours, the Master 5 and this one, the Master 5 HD, that's specifically designed for the DJI 03 air unit and camera. It's not even expensive, £55 or around $65 is a great price for this remarkable five inch, low resonance and easy to tune frame. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Blow channel. Unboxing quad frames is a bit boring because you usually, you've just got a bag of carbon parts, standoffs and nuts and bolts. But Speedy Bee have always excelled in how they present their products. Now I've had a sneak peek inside this box, so I've got a rough idea what's in store, and I thought I'd show you. If it's too boring, just skip to the next chapter in the timeline. Even this box is made of a quality feel cardboard, and I know that makes absolutely zero difference to how this quad flies. It does show that they're concerned with form and function, and their attention to every single detail. See what I mean? It's just fantastic. I haven't seen this level of packaging since the original Diatone GT200, which also had this same level of attention to detail in the boxing and the packaging. It's just fantastic. Now, one of the amazing things is I, I'd had sort of planned that I was going to do a full build of how the frame goes together. But there's no need. I mean, this instruction leaflet is just covers everything look at it everything you need to know including how you fix the o3 unit how you wire it where you route the cables and so on so i'll be doing that everything you need to know is in here it's fantastic and this frame well you've got this top frame plate here sorry uh, with countersunk holes and it is very nicely machined there's no nasty carbon sort of powder that you get the edges and the uh, they're just well they're not chamfered they're just rounded which is very nice and then you've got the bottom plate here which is in two parts with a couple of inserts and there's a looks to be sort of like a non-slip battery pad that goes there and in here we have got a cable for the o3 the flight control that i'm going to be using is not going to be plug and play, so I'm going to have to solder those, so that's all good. We've got some standoffs. These have even been silk screened with Speedy B. And then we've got these camera plates. Now, the thing about this frame, it's the HD master frame. So that's designed for an O3 air unit like this. And the way the camera plates have been arranged for this is that it's got 130 degrees of view and you get these detachable camera plates so you can fix not just the O3 camera but also all sorts of cameras presumably the original O2s and analog cameras if you want and then down here we've got again a whole bunch of fully labeled hardware again I haven't seen this since the original Diatone GT200 it's all very nice Got more hardware in here, labelled up, and even more hardware. Then we've got these 3D printed parts in the Speedy B Classic Yellow, which I really like. You can get this in grey if you want. So there's feet that go on the end of the arms, 
Uh, there seems to be some sort of multiple. Let me see. These are different end plates for different types of antenna, presumably for the O3 antenna as well as Crossfire. And I think this has got a mounting for GPS as well. So we'll be having a look at that in a minute. And then we've got these injection molded TPU soft mounts for your flight controller. So what this means is that you've effectively got a floating mount for your flight controller. This is TPU, but it's it's been molded. It's not 3D printed, it's very nice. And this will accommodate the different size flight controllers, 30 and 20 mil fittings. And you get this super soft one, and you get this slightly harder one, the different grades of TPU, basically. And down here we have got, let's have a look. These are the front camera plates. Now, these are CNC machined aluminium. Incredibly strong. Look at this. You can hear that. Almost like diamond cut edges on there. Very nice. Got two of those. And what we got down here, some non-slip battery pads, a couple of antenna rods, tubes, sorry. And we've got some battery straps, a couple of them. These are actually really good quality with metal buckle. Fantastic. They're very good. And somewhere in here there must be some arms. Here we go. Now the arrangement of this frame is sort of a slightly wider X. You won't see until I've got this together. But that's basically so you get no props in view which is very nice. So we've got four of those. Oh, and the other thing I read on the box is that to replace an arm, there's basically three screws hold these together in some arrangement, presumably something along this, hmm, not quite sure. But you've, to replace an arm, you've only got to remove two screws, which is also very good. So we've got those four. You got anything else? Oh, there's those still bits in there. Got all sorts of bits and pieces in here. So that's it. It all looks very good. So I've got this big pile of bits, and I'm going to use these very comprehensive instructions to screw all this together. I don't know quite what it is about this frame, but it's deeply relaxing screwing it all together. And maybe it's because you don't have to think, because the instructions, these, are just so clear and everything is clearly labelled and just fits together nicely. It's a bit like building Lego. Anyway, this Master 5 HD frame build is a bit of a Speedy B extravaganza, because I'm going to be using their 405 V3 stack that I reviewed recently, which you can check out up here. Now, as well as being a bit of a work of art, this is ridiculously good value for money and it's great quality. It's only $70, which is around £55. And this frame is specifically designed to fit the new DJI 03 air unit. And there's a little mounting plate down there, which is made of metal some cable management underneath and you get this heat sink which is a neat touch and the camera plates as standard will fit this 20 millimeter 03 camera but if you do choose to use a 90 mil camera there are a couple of spacers included in the kit but you'll notice that actually there's not enough stretch on this cable to reach between the mounting point and where the camera will fit so if you do order one of these you'll need to order it with this longer 170 millimeter MIPI cable to connect the two together. And SpeedyB have this as an option when you order the frame and they've got ones for the Vista and the original air unit as well. Now this comes with a choice of gray or yellow plastics and 
I really like the signature Speedy B yellow. I think it's great. Now, I'm not quite sure what motors and props I'm going to be fitting on this yet, but they will be 6S compatible. Well, there we go, all made up and looking absolutely fantastic. It really is a great looking frame. We've got the F405 stack mounted in here, which is very nice. And I'm using the softer of the two mounts, this floating mount. We'll see how we get on with that when we start tuning. We might swap it out for the stiffer one, see how it goes. The way that the stack is mounted, I've basically flipped it through 180 degrees in the horizontal plane. Reason for that is that the battery connectors on the bottom ESC board mount up to this fixed XT60 connector on here, which is great. That means the cables are nice and short. The low ESR 1500 microfarad capacitor is soldered directly onto the board as well. So that's very nice. Now, because the stack is flipped 180 degrees, it means the gyro needs to be reoriented. And you just do that by making it a 180 flip in beta flight. And also the stack will have flipped through 180. So the motor order will have changed. So it's normally one, two, three, and four. It'll all be in a different order. All you have to do is use the Speedy B app, connect to this using Bluetooth, and you can swap that motor direction. It's absolutely trivial. You can swap the motor direction and the motor order. It really is very, very straightforward. In the back here, we've got the O3 air unit, nicely mounted. You've got the heat sink on the bottom, and there's some channels underneath there to route the cables from the back of the O3 air unit up to the plug on the flight controller in here. And I've opted for this arrangement of antennas at the back. There's a few different TPU brackets that Speedy B provide. This one is for the O3 air unit antenna uh, GPS module, and I'm using the Radio Master RP3 diversity receiver. This is the only receiver that I use now on all my quads. It's utterly fantastic. And you get two dipole T antennas, and I've mounted them at 90 degrees, which gives you the best chance of getting a good range on this. One is horizontal, and one is vertical in true diversity fashion. Remember the null points are out here and at the top and the bottom. So it doesn't matter which orientation this quad is in, you're gonna get reception, which is great. And if you drill a couple of holes in the side of this, these push in and a little blob of hot glue inside will hold them securely in place. Up the front, you've got the O3 uh, camera, if I could say it, and then I've mounted a Vifly drone finder in there as well, which is very nice. For the motors, I've used the Zing 2207-1855KV. These will be running on 6S, and for the props, and these are the props I use on all my 5-inch quads, these are the HQ Prop Ethics S3. I think these are called the Melon, Melon set or something like that. Anyway, this looks utterly fantastic. There's a couple of nice non-slip battery pads on the top. This arrangement for the XT60 is very good. I'd like to see this on more quads. And lastly, I think underneath we've got this nice little sort of like protector, almost like neoprene pad that you stick on to keep the frame nice and scratch free. On the ends here, you've got these motor protectors. These are TPU. One thing to watch out for is the motor bolts would normally be eight millimeters here. If you put these TPU protectors on, you'll need 10 millimeter bolts on the front. And remember, because you can't screw these down quite as tight, it's probably a good idea to put some thread lock on there. So I think we need to get this out and tuned and see how it flies.
I don't know what more you could ask for really. This Speedy B Master 5 is a really well designed frame that's low resonance, it's easy to tune, it flies beautifully, it looks great and is a total pleasure to build. And in combination with their super cheap F405 V3 stack this is fantastic value for money. And you always know when something's going to be popular when your local supplier gets it in stock and sells the spares, which is what I'm seeing with this. After all, they don't want their stuff sitting around on the shelves and not selling. I've left links in the video description so you can check out the latest prices and availability. And there's also a link so you can download my Betaflight 4.4 tune for this if you want to take a look. And if you want to keep up to date with my quad builds or tuning and tech and anything else in the Whirly Bloat Lab, why not subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.